Yeah, who is obviously a fan of Berserk, which is an awesome series, if not incredibly dark and depressing. If you're an anime fan beyond card games, of course. <laughs> so, my opponent is on Tri Brigade for this game. Uh, again, one of my favourite matchups. It's, uh, it's I find it really satisfying to play because I don't find what they do on their first turn anywhere near as oppressive as uh, what some of the other decks that prevent me from playing Yu-Gi-Oh is. And as long as I can play, I can generally play through most hand traps, most game states, uh, if, as long yeah. as I've got like a few colours to, to work with in yeah. my Ag Mister deck. I, I am noticing two colours, but no hand traps. Yeah, yeah, so the opponent's basically going to get the uh, free reign. And the best part about that is that Tri Brigade do not really put up that great a field uh, if, if given free reign. It's not like Drytron, where this game would be over. Yeah. Like, if they if they got to go off and do whatever they want, Dinosaurs, the game would be over. If it was Phantom Knights, the game would be over. But I've got a chance to play uh, play through an opposing Tri Brigade build, which is... Which is what I'm fine with. I mean, even the Lyralux build uh, version, right? I'd be able to normal summon the yellow attack over the barrier of the wind statue, statue so I'd still yeah. get a chance to play against Lyralux. There was a version of that combo that dumped the Tri Brigade quick play spell that could banish from the graveyard to protect a Tri type from battle destruction. But oh yeah, I lost to that once. Yeah, like I've I've not seen it on Master Duel before, so obviously this has got to be the revolt. So you're not even seeing the double dragon lord. This is just an Appaloosa and a revolt. Yeah. That's yeah. It's if they got free reign and this is what they came up with and so for me i know i can just play through it's no problem i fish for the ash blossom because the ai is uh i i need i want the ai met you to go through yes so you just you already have all the spells you could possibly want anyway yellow was just a free reduction of 800 attack you already have the field spell as well this is amazingly free like you just yep. got you got rid of his two negates on stuff you already had that's fantastic yeah, so this is kind of like how you want to play the game. You want to bait your opponent into blowing the gates, especially when you know you can extend beyond what they've got. Uh, and that's kind of what I was looking for in the situation, which is you get my opponent's Appaloosas, get my opponent's responses out on things that I can duplicate if they do interact with them. This is a problem. So opponent goes for, sure, getting uh, rid of your field spell is a bad time. Uh, yeah, but this is going to just highlight exactly why I believe Agnistos is just a fantastic entry level deck to top level play uh once you learn the combos it's so rewarding to play this deck so yeah my opponent does go for my field spell and for them it's a, a belief that okay at this point my opponent uh me i'm not gonna be able to play anything else because the agonist is completely depend on the field spell and yeah, that's i i see this a half proof <laughs> yeah and you also see sign up mining in my hand as well oh yeah course. And uh, AI met you. Uh, Discard red. So there's a lot of different ways I could play uh, this sequence to OTK from here, but this is the direction I decided to go with uh, because I because of the cards Kachiri. I had access to. Nice. Yep, Kachiri, you can do special summon because I control an Act Mister, and we can just go ahead and make uh, Dark Templar. Technically, I could go and Splash Mage and Splash Mage into. Uh, Transcode, yeah, you had all kinds Transcode. of stuff you could do, but you're you're doing a victory lap on this poor guy. He was smart to put his Appaloosa here, though. Yeah, it takes away my potential to make a, a rival uh, in this deck. It's actually weird. This is one of the few decks where playing on the right hand deck. Uh, extra monster zone is super important. Yeah, so then we can just go ahead and do our, our special edition, and we can leave the blue. Right? Yeah, it's just a 5300 boy. Button. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's from here is pretty easy to just uh, clean the game up. And we leave, you always leave the tank in place, it then shuts down your ability to play infinite impermanence on you. Absolutely. Especially on those games where you get uh, max seed. There's a lot of people yeah. who are like, I, I noticed that on our last one where we talked about like leaving cards in case of imperm, and people are like, why wouldn't they just set the imperm? And the answer is, they drew it from max seed. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's actually times where I don't play Impermanence. I don't like setting it against Eldlick because they just pick them off. Mm. Even when you try and set them directly behind a uh, Imperial Order or something. But yeah, I'll talk about that if it comes to another replay. But yeah, that was a, a pretty standard Tri Brigade. A lot of my games during my climb against Tri Brigade were similar variations of that. They weren't. It wasn't a challenging matchup. It was. They were fun matchups where you just had to. If if you think them through, they were 
it was possible to win a lot of the Tribal Gate matches. Fair enough.